everyone thank you for joining me and watching another one of my videos I'm gonna get straight into it this is the weekly recap for the week of May 2nd through the 8th and um, kind of just to jump right into it this uh, the base kit is the pretty in pink kit from punky bee designs it's all of the light pink I will have that link below and then I also use a Mother's Day sampler kit from giraffe on skates and unfortunately the sampler kit is no longer available of course because today is Mother's Day um, and so it's, it's just not available anymore but I will link um, giraffe on skates Etsy shop if so you can see any other samplers and any other kits that she does have available um, so again all of the light pink um, so the quote washing on the bottom hydrate stickers full boxes um, ombre heart check boxes um, the decorative ones and the half boxes these are all um, in the pretty in pink kit the um, this floral decorative full box back here the hot pink weekend banner the happy mother's day floral um full box excuse me couldn't think of what that was and then the touches of yellow here and the touches of green and hot pink those are from the mother's day sampler kit um this is to let you guys see this is the mother's day sampler kit this is what i have left from it um so i'm definitely planning on using this in another spread because it has you know the yellows it has hot pink green and like this peachy color um, that I could definitely incorporate into another spread so this is what the Mother's Day sampler kit looked like and then the pretty and pink kit from Punky Bee Designs you guys know I do order I love Punky Bee Designs and I do order the the Lux weekly kit and the mini kit because the combination of the two gives me enough to do like an almost no white space because I have some white space here but almost a no white space on one spread and then I can do a little more of a functional um, more white space spread with what's left over so this is what's left over of the pretty and pink kit so I used all of the ombre heart check boxes um, in a couple of the half boxes so I still have um, pretty much all of the um, heart checklist flags and then the half ones I have a couple um, page flags there this is another part of the deluxe weekly kit and so it still has a couple headers left um, I didn't use any today headers they normally come with seven but I didn't use any under the weekend banner so that's why I have extras left um, I have a couple half uh, check boxes some more like appointment boxes um, I do have the weekend banner again I didn't use this one because I used the one from the Mother's Day sampler and then this is the other sheet that goes with the um, deluxe kit so I still have again I use all the decorative boxes I still have some half boxes left a lot of icons I didn't really use too many icons this week and then this is the mini kit so it had two full boxes some half boxes quarter boxes page flags that I already used and some washi strips um, I still have yet another weekend banner a whole row of uh, heart checklists and a couple more icons some um, little dots some boxes some dew drops and some other page flags so again when I order again the mini kit and the deluxe weekly kit together I always end up with just about this to kind of do another week spread and um, I end up using the washi and maybe some of my own washi to cover up the headers um, if I don't have some extra headers laying around that can match the kit um, the other things that I use, these, um, all these hearts that made this to-do list, those were icons that came um, from the Giraffe on Skates. Um, as you can see, I love Giraffe on Skates. This was the May monthly kit, and I do have a video up already where I did a May monthly overview, so I will link to that video below. But if you have already seen that video, I told you guys there were so many icons left over um, after I planned the May monthly and so I did want to kind of take advantage of it and then the pink and green kind of played with especially the greens that were coming out in this Mother's Day sampler so I um, took some of the icons as you can see I have plenty more um, so hopefully I'll try to incorporate it in some other kits the uh, flowers here 
are from uh, the April freebies that were coming with Punky Bee Designs um, orders. I've ordered twice from her in April, so this is another sheet I haven't touched yet. This was um, all the ones from the other sheet. I used all of them. And then also, the this planning time sticker is from this little freebie sheet from Planning Roses. Um, if you guys saw my haul, I got a couple kits from Planning Roses as well, and this little freebie came with it. Um, and so I used the planning time sticker that was there. But um, basically, this week wasn't too busy but um you know with it leading up to mother's day we did have quite a few things going on um next week is going to be ridiculously busy because we have spring fling at my son's school i am on the pta committee that runs spring fling so i have a lot of days almost every day next week i'll be at his school including that friday for spring fling i'll be there pretty much all day um we had some meetings this week i was actually nominated for co-vice president of pta which i'm very excited about um, for those of you who don't know my son christian is five years old he's in kindergarten so this is our first year at the school um and i joined the pta kind of just to help out here and there and i've been pretty active with them and so they actually nominated me to be co-vice president which is a huge step a big thing for me um so I'm excited about that and um, just really my f goal for this week was to study and I have not studied at all. As you can see, all my important things were schoolwork, haven't done any of it. I've gotten a lot of things done, but not studying um, with it being single to Mayo. So we had um, my apartment complex. We have a CARES team, if you guys know what that is. Um, it's just a couple or a group that lives in the apartment complex and they basically work with the apartment staff to do different events and activities and stuff monthly just to kind of have a bit of a um, networking and socializing among the residents. So um, this month they had a lot of things going on. They actually did um, a nacho bar for Cinco de Mayo um, and they also had a Mother's Day brunch this morning. Well, yesterday morning, because today's Sunday. Yesterday morning, um, they had a Mother's Day brunch. We actually went to a baseball game last night and got completely rained out, so that was a bummer. Um, we, I think we got maybe four innings in, and it just started pouring down, raining. Um, so it, it's been a, been a bit of a crazy week. It's about 6 or 6.30 a.m. right now on Mother's Day, and this is the only time I have to film this because I have a lot of things going on with my family today. Um, my sister and my nieces actually came up from South Carolina and we are going all going to have a big breakfast and then we're going to go visit and put flowers on my mother's gravesite. So today is going to be pretty busy and very emotional. So I did want to go ahead and get this video done now because I don't know when I'm going to be home later today and I already know I'm probably not going to be in the mood to film it. So that is it for this week's recap. Um, if you guys have any questions about any products that I use on here, anything you want more information about, again, I will link the Pretty in Pink um, kit from Punky Bee Designs down in the description bar. Um, the Mother's Day, excuse me, the Mother's Day sampler kit is no longer available. And I think that is about it that can actually be linked. And I also, again, will link my May monthly overview um, in the description bar if you haven't seen it so you can see what I did with some of these other icons as well. But again, any questions, comments, concerns, please leave them down in the description box. Um, please give this video a thumbs up if you do enjoy seeing my weekly recaps because I do want to try to get them to you guys every week. And if you have not already, definitely subscribe to the channel. Um, again, I do have a lot of great videos coming up. Um, I do have my wedding planning series is getting ready to start very very soon and um, i actually have a couple other series that i'm working on so definitely hit that subscribe button if you have not already and i will see you guys in my next video thanks